What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I get the most excited for this time of year because of March Mug Madness. So March Mug Madness, I pick the 64 best mugs that I think I made over the last year and then I match them up in this bracket challenge and then you guys get to vote on Instagram which one wins. And so it's super exciting. It was so much fun last year. And then I give away a bunch. And so stay tuned to the end of this video to figure out how you can be entered to win. Before I get started, I wanna let you guys know that our next Etsy sale is gonna be on March 15th at 6 p.m. That's a Monday. Uh, my birthday is March 14th, so it'll be, we'll call it my birthday sale. How about that? So there'll be lots of mugs that are similar to these, even though these were all mugs that I made over the past year and have most of them have all sold. Actually, all of them have pretty much sold. What we do here is each matchup, I seeded them. So if you follow the March Madness NCAA basketball tournament, that's one of my favorite things. My friends and I have been watching that since we were in high school every year. I even have a tattoo. I'll tell that story at the end of this video. So anyway, I seed them. So each region, there's the South region, then there's the West region, then there's the East region and the Midwest region. And each region has 16 mugs and they're numbered one through 16. Number one is the best and number 16 is technically the worst, even though it should still be a pretty good mug because it's one of the top 64. So each region has a number one seed, which is paired up against the number 16 seed. 8, 9, 5, 12. We'll go through each region and talk about the mugs in them uh, because then you guys can pick which one you think is going to win it all and that's one of the ways that you can get entered to win. So then we play the first round and everything is done on Instagram. So Instagram has a great poll feature where you can like have people vote and then once you vote you see what the percentage is so you can see who's winning. So the first day, March 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, then the second round games, so that will be all 32 games will get done in that first round. The next round of games will be March 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. And then the final games, the final four, game one will be March 19th. And then the final four, game two will be March 20th. And the championship will be March 21st. So basically to play along, you have to comment on this video on which mug you think will win. So we're going to go through all the different mugs. And then you just have, to, just have to say like the number five seed in the South region. So you can either do that here or on Instagram. You also have to play along. So you have to get on Instagram and then when we play those games, you have to be voting along, like at least like five games or something like that. And then at the end of the whole thing, we look back and if you predicted the correct winner, then you're entered to win. We are, we're gonna give away 10 mugs and five of them will be from YouTube, five of them will be from Instagram. And so whichever one you commented to, technically you could win two then, but the chances are unlikely based on the amount of people playing. And so, yeah, it's super fun. It's just like some games are really close. Some are super surprising. Like sometimes I think that one's gonna win and, and like everybody likes a different one. Um, so it's super fun to play along, see what's happening. Uh, you get to see a big example of all the different mugs I've made throughout the year. I'd love for you to play along. Okay, so let's get into this and we'll talk about each region. Okay, so in the South region, we have the number one seed of the whole tournament is the Northern Lights Classic Mug because that's the mug that won last year. And so it seemed like it was pretty undefeatable last year. Uh, but I'm hoping I got some in here that may be able to defeat it. So the number one seed is the Northern Lights Classic versus the number 16 seed, which is that Copper Ore over Winterwood. A great, a great mug. Number eight and nine seed. This is the, I can't even remember. I mean, I know exactly what it is, but it's the Copper Wash and Sandstone, number eight seed versus a Copper Ore over Marbled Mug in the nine, number nine seed. Then we have a 5-12 game with the popular, this has been a great seller for us, this Raspberry Mist and Lavender Mist mug, which there's a few others here. And then another Dripper over Marbled, which uh, those are have been a good seller for us. Then the number six seed uh, is the Practical Pottery mug. So that's the one that's on the cover photo of the book that we released last year. And then the number 11 seed is a Satin Patina over Winterwood, one of my new favorite glazes that I have. The 314 game is the Midnight Rain, like a metallic Midnight Rain over Winterwood. That's one of my favorite and one of the best selling mugs over the past year. 
and it did really well last year in the March Madness tournament too. Uh, against number 14 seed, which is just a Aurora Green over Sandstone. Great staple mug. Number 4, 13 game. We have that bright red gloss is the number 13 glaze. Uh, and then a really good Aurora Green over Sandstone. So that'll be interesting to see if like the 4 and the 14 both win. Uh, then they would be matched up similarly against each other. Uh, but like if the 3 and the 4 win, then they would be matched up next. Uh, next one is the Canyon Skies. That's a really... Uh, one of my classic glazes from a long time ago uh, against a really interesting decal mug. So this one has those uh, decal impressions on it with the uh, blue dripper. Um, so yeah, 10-7 game. And then the two seed versus the 15 seed. Number two is a faceted lavender mist one. Those have been, uh, people love those. And then this orange marbled with the satin patina, which is one of my favorites. Um, but based on, I did a lot of the seeding based on how the games went last year. And the marbled really did not do super well last year. Like it got defeated by a lot of the normal mugs. So, okay, that's the South region. And so if you think that like the Northern Lights Classic is gonna be the winner, you, you would say number one South region. And that would be a good pick because that's what won last year. And remember, you only get entered in the drawing to win if you pick the correct one at the end. So, okay, let's go to the next region. Okay, so in the West region, the number one seed is going to be this new carved winter wood and satin patina. This is a brand new one that I've just started doing a lot more of where I like carve it out and then the, the glaze just shows the, it breaks over the clay really well and it's super cool. So that's the number one seed. And then we have a textured uh, copper ore over sandstone as the number 16 seed. So unlikely that the 16 would beat the one, but you never know. It could be a huge upset. Uh, then we have the 8-9 game, which is a classic Canyon Skies, one of my uh, classic glazes, uh, against the Norse Blue Spiral one. So that'll be, a, I would think that would be a close one. Uh, and then we number five seed is this Canyon Skies with gold, which I've only done that a few times. It has the gold luster on it. And then number 12 is a marbled mug with a blue around the rim, which is a really classic one that I love. Number four seed versus the 13 seed. This will be a really interesting matchup. Number four seed is an upside down fired Northern Lights mug. So it's high, it's like highly seated because it's a Northern Lights mug, but kind of unknown because I don't know how the upside down fired thing will go. And then a brand new red gloss glaze that I just started doing recently. We have quite a few of these going up for sale on that next restock. Number six seed over number 11 seed. This is a slow cooled Aurora Green and, and Norse Blue, which they, the texture of that's really cool. So whether or not that'll really show through in the photo uh, versus just how cool it actually is in person, I don't know, we'll see. And then another Canyon Skies textured one. The three seed versus the 14 seed, that'll be a really interesting matchup. That's a, my wife carved this one out. So it has a black slip on top. It's called Scrafito and it's carved out. And that's a really cool one against a really colorful marbled one, which once again, didn't do that well last year. So we'll see if this year's any different. Then we have the Spiral uh, Lavender Mist, ra Raspberry Mist. I think those are gonna do pretty well this year. And another slow cooled uh, Aurora Green, Norse Blue kind of combo there. Different than that other one though. And then the last one is a, a classic, uh, one of my faves, Aurora Green and Norse Blue over Sandstone against another marbled one. So that is the West region. So in the Midwest region, our number one seed is a really new glaze for us. It actually has four different glazes on it. Uh, it's a raspberry mist lavender mist over Norse blue there And then it's against the number 16 seed slow cooled Aurora green, which I really like those But it's seeded as a 16 because I remember from last year that the slow cool didn't do quite as well as the normal ones But still could be an upset there. We'll see the 8-9 seed two really good mugs uh, this carved marbled with copper ore over uh, and then a classic northern lights but to buttercream so normally the northern lights I do with black on the bottom this one I finished with buttercream on the whole thing. Buttercream, not butt cream. So then number five, 12 seed. That's a classic Canyon Skies, one of my uh, older glazes. And then a drippy glaze that doesn't have any clay or glazer on the bottom, but it just has the glaze that drips down over top. Number six, 11 seed. That one's a decal one again, which is a, a little interesting and different for me. And then another Aurora Green Norse Blue combo. That's really good. Number three versus the 14 is another practical pottery mug. That's a little bigger one, a little slightly different than the other one, but number 14 is another slow cooled um, classic Aurora Green. Then we have another carved uh, 
slightly different than the other. There was a number one seed that I thought was gonna do really well. This is a little different. It has an extra glaze on top, so it drips down quite a bit more. And then the number 13 seed is that just a really good blue uh, over sandstone, kind of a beachy feel mug. Number 710 is a slow cooled, straight, really straight shape mug. That's a different one for me. And then we have another carved uh, marble mug. And then number two, the number two seed here is a Northern Lights with red. So that's been really popular uh, this year. So it'll be interesting to see how the Northern Lights and the Northern Lights red differ. And then number 15 seed is another marbled blue, classic marble blue one. So any in there that you see are your favorite. Let's go to the next one. All right, so in this region, we have the number one seed here is the Insanity Mug. And so that's really probably my favorite mug that I've made in the past year. Uh, and especially a mug that really didn't exist in the tournament last year was the Insanity Mug. And so that'll be really interesting versus just a straight orange, uh, orange over sandstone, which some people like them, but generally I'd say it's not quite as popular as a lot of the other ones. The 8-9 seed is another marble with the Northern Lights drip and a new, newer satin patina mug. And then the 5-12 game is that Aurora Green over Green Opal. That's another one that I've been doing for a little while. Over a pretty unique marbly color one. Uh, haven't done that for a while. Number 4-13 seed, that's a Midnight Rain over Winter Wood, but it's slow cooled, so it's got a little different look to it. Uh, and then the 13 seed is a red marbled mug. Uh, did those for the fall. Uh, that was a really popular one in the fall. Then the 611 game, that's a Northern Lights over decal mug with kind of a Canyon Skies textured mug. And then we have another red, Northern Lights with red, but a slightly different shape, a little different look to it. And then a spiral uh, blue desert dusk mug. And then we have a number seven and 10 game is gonna be that Aurora Green uh, over Norse Blue slow cooled. And then the number 10 is a Copper Ore over Sandstone. That actually changes a lot based on the temperature that you fire to. And then finally, the number two seed here is the Canyon Skies Carved. I also think that one's gonna do really well. And then another carved mug that I, that I thought was good as well. So that's the two and 15 game there. So anything you see in there, the insanity, that might be a good pick. Boom, okay, so there it is. That is how, that is what I picked as my 64 best mugs. And there are a lot of, I, I realized as I was kind of talking through all those that there are some common things I used. The, or I picked the Aurora Green a lot and the Norse Blue combo, I must like that a lot. The Northern Lights obviously is, is a really popular one. So I tried to use both what I found out from doing this tournament last year about like what people liked and also what sells really quickly, you know, when we do these Etsy restocks and like what sells out immediately and what kind of on social media, like what kind of traction to, if I post this, does it get a lot of likes? Do I post this? So I just kind of used everything that I had. And so we'll see as, as the tournament progresses, if the lower, the higher seeds, like the number one and two and three seeds are always winning and those are getting further along in the tournament, then I guess I understand what my audience really likes uh, or else maybe there'll be some surprises too. Okay, anyway, a couple other things I want to talk to you guys about. So on March 20th, I'm doing a polar plunge for it's all the money raised goes towards Special Olympics. And I thought it'd be fun if you guys wanted, I would make a video about it. So basically the polar plunge is you cut a hole in the ice in the lake and you jump in. So the water is freezing cold and it's just a fun event and it's coming to Waconia. And so Mocha Monkey, as Mocha Monkey, we were asked to be involved. So Mocha Monkey has a team. And I thought if we raise over a thousand dollars, that then I would make a video about it. And so if you guys wanna see me and the video, a cool video about me jumping in the lake for a good cause, uh, then in the description of the link below, you can donate to the Polar Plunge and it's all goes to the Special Olympics. So it's a good cause. I think that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I hope I explained it well enough to like get everything across that I wanted to. So follow me on Instagram, play along, leave a comment. What do you, which mug do you think is gonna win? What's your favorite? All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. One quick story about my buddies and us in March Madness. We used to always get together during high school and we'd like, I hesitate saying this because I wanna be a good influence, but we would skip school to watch the first round of the March Madness because that's when all the big games, or that's when the most of the games happen. And we always wanted this, a 16 seed to beat a number one seed. And it didn't happen for like 
the first like, hundred years of the tournament or however many years the tournament had been going on, a 16 seed had never ever beat a one seed. And so we always rooted for the number 16 and it never happened. So finally, when we were old enough, all of my buddies and I, we went to Las Vegas because that's kind of like the mecca for March Madness basketball is you go to Vegas and you can bet on the games and you can watch the games that all the places have uh, watch parties and stuff. So we went to Vegas and we always said that when we were in high school, if a 16 ever beat a one, that we would get a tattoo of the team that won. While we were in Vegas for the first time watching March Madness, a 16 seed beat a one seed for the first time ever. And it was wild. So what did we do? We had to go get our tattoo of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. We all got them on our little legs and it was hilarious. So that's my only tattoo. That's my one story of getting a tattoo and all my buddies have a, a matching one. Well, not all of them. A 16 seed has never beat a one seed in this tournament either. So maybe this will be the year and maybe I'll have to get a tattoo of a picture of a, the winning 16 seed mug. I'd do it.